Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how to flash stock ROM on any Xiaomi device. And in order to follow any of the methods which I'm going to show you in this video, you need to have unlocked bootloader. If you do not have unlocked bootloader, then there is another method about which I'm going to make a video soon. So consider subscribing and enabling the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload that particular video. That's going to be a little bit difficult with locked bootloader, but I will make that video for sure. But if you have unlocked bootloader, then you can follow the two methods which I'm going to show in this video. First method is by using TWRP recovery, but if you do not have TWRP recovery installed on your device and you want to completely remove TWRP recovery, you want to get rid of the ROM that you have and the root access, then follow the second method which starts at this particular timing which is shown on the screen right now. Like if you don't want to watch the TWRP method, skip to this method. But if you watch the TWRP method, that will add up to your knowledge only. So let's get started. First of all, you will need to download the TWRP recovery flashable zip file, which is available on official MIUI website, which will be linked in the description box below. From there, you need to download the recovery file for your particular device. If you have Redmi Note 4, download the ROM of Redmi Note 4. If you have MI6, then download the file of MI6. There is one more file which you need to download and that's known as lazy flash zip file. It will be linked in the description box below too. Now copy both these files into the internal storage of your device and now boot into TWRP recovery mode. And how do you boot into TWRP recovery if you ask? Then switch off your device completely. Hold the volume up and power buttons together. If you have any MI device or if you have Redmi Note 3 or Redmi Note 4, the device will directly boot into the TWRP recovery. But if you have Redmi 4, Redmi 3S, 3S Prime, Redmi 2, 2 Prime, Redmi 1S, then it will show you something like this. Select recovery over here and select this blue Chinese button and the device will boot into the TWRP recovery mode. What's more important is that you should boot into TWRP recovery. Now go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe all the apps and data of the apps on your device, but it will not wipe the internal storage or your camera pictures or your music on your device. So do not worry about that. Once that's done, go back, go into install, select the MIUI zip file, which we had copied earlier and select swipe to confirm flash. This will flash the MIUI zip file on your device. And this can take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on the device that you have. For me, it took around 5 to 7 minutes to flash the complete ROM. Once that's done, go back, select the lazy flashes zip file once again and select the swipe to confirm flash option and the lazy flashes zip file will be flashed. Flashing lazy flashes zip file is very, 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 very important. So do not skip this step. Once the lazy flashes zip file is flashed, Click on reboot system and the device will boot into the MIUI ROM. So you do not have any type of root access on your device. This is a completely stock ROM, but you still have the TWRP recovery installed on your device, which I prefer to have on Xiaomi devices because flashing updates is very easy through TWRP recovery too. And I have already made a separate guide on how to flash updates. If you have TWRP recovery installed, I'll give the link of that in the description box below. Now let's talk about the second method, which is fast boot method. If you follow this method, then this will remove everything, including root access, custom ROM, TWRP recovery, everything will be removed. Plus, if you have any type of pictures or if you have any type of uh, music in your internal storage, then that will be wiped too. So basically, if you follow the second method, the device will be like completely new device, similar to how it was when you had unboxed the device for the first time. So let's get started with the method. And if your device is in boot loop mode, your device is not booting at all, you can still follow this particular method. You just need to boot into the fast boot mode. If your device is booting, then you can switch off your device. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together so that the device will boot into the fast boot mode. But if your device is in boot loop, your device is not booting at all, then hold the volume down button and power button together for around 15 to 20 seconds. The device will boot into the fast boot mode. Now attach USB cable to the device and that's pretty much it for the devices part. Now rest of the work is on our PC. First of all, you will need to download two files. First one is the fastboot zip file, which will be device specific fastboot zip file. And as you can see, all the devices are listed on the official Xiaomi website from where you can download the fastboot zip file of your device. So if you have Redmi Note 4, download the fastboot zip file of your device only. One more thing which you need to download is the MI Flash Beta, which will be linked in the description box below too. 
and you just have to install it, which is very easy. I'm not going to show how to install. This is the fastboot zip file, which we had downloaded earlier. Now right click on the zip file and click on extract. It will extract the zip file. Uh, obviously it will. And now if you open up the folder, you will find another file, which will be unknown. And you need to rename this file to your device.zip. In my case, I'm using Redmi 4. So I'm going to rename it as Redmi 4.zip. Most important thing here is adding .zip extension. Once you do that, extract this file once again. And the folder which you are seeing right now is the final folder. Now copy this particular folder and paste it into a particular drive. Like if you have C, D, E, F, G, H drives, then copy this folder in any of those drives. Now I'm going to copy this folder into the E drive. Like it's just copy paste and extracting till now. It's very easy. Now open up MI flash beta tool, click on the select option over here and select that particular folder, which we copied right now. Like I copied it in the E drive. So I'll select E drive and that folder, which I had copied earlier, select that folder, click on OK and click on refresh in the MI flash beta tool, your device will be shown over here. There are multiple options over here, clean all, save user data, clean all and lock. If you want to lock the bootloader after flashing the stock ROM, then select this particular option, but I do not want to lock the bootloader of my device. I just want to clean everything on the device. So I'll select clean all option and then click on flash over here. If you select save user data, it may not work like always for me, it gave some issues few times. So I will not suggest you to use the save user data option. But if you are feeling adventurous, then you can surely go ahead and try that option too. Once you click on flash, it can take anywhere from two minutes to 10 minutes, depending on your device. And once the flashing is successful, the device will reboot automatically for the Redmi 4, which I have over here. The MI flash beta tool did not show it as success for some odd reason. I do not know why it did not show that, but with other devices, when I've flashed through MI flash beta tool, it shows as success and the device reboots automatically. Over here, it did not show success, but the device rebooted automatically, which means that the fastboot zip file is flashed successfully. And uh, that's pretty much it. The device will boot into the ROM and you will have like totally stock ROM. You can flash OT updates directly. You can do whatever you want with your device because the device is like in the stock state. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. And if you were able to recover your device from a boot loop stage or from some other stage, then don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you think that this video may help you in the future, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button because many more awesome videos on Xiaomi devices and many more devices are going to come real soon on the channel. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions or queries regarding this video, then let me know about that in the comment section box below. I'll surely try my best to answer your queries. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.